John Cena now comes out about 40 minutes into the show. The host, thank you his appearance, immediately makes himself the special guest referee for Miz versus Elliot Knight. Miz comes out and they go back and forth for about 10 minutes establishing Oh nothing. my god, this was just wasting fucking time. And the funny thing is like, Cena comes out and announces he's the ref, okay? Mm -hmm. Then Miz comes out and like his whole deal is, you know, I was a host once and uh, you know, when I was host on that show, I did uh, I did two jobs in that one night. And it's like <laughs> not his exact words, but yes. Whatever. <laughs> but I mean, that's what he said. He goes, uh, I had two matches in one night. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he did in fact lose both. Yeah, sure, he had two jobs. <laughs> yes. But anyway, the point is, like, as he's talking about all of these things that he did on the show when he was a host, that's when John Cena should have said, okay, I'll do another job tonight. I'll be the guest referee of your match. But they announced it before Miz did the speech. And so Miz does the whole speech, and then it leads to John Cena going, well, I'm the guest referee tonight, like I said. I'm like, God damn, you fuckers are wasting time. And then... God bless them all, okay? God bless them all. But Miz versus L.A. Knight with John Cena as the guest referee was the most generic WWE professional wrestling match of a generation. Miz is the fucking Miz. L.A. Knight works basically exactly like the Miz. Yeah. John Cena is there as a robotic referee, and fuck, it's three males, all with short hair, all with relatively similar physiques, I guess. You know, Miz is not quite as jacked as the other two, but, you know. He's, he's, more, he's more for the most famous. It's three muscle men yes, with yes. generic short haircuts yeah. and generic trunks. And, like, this was the most generic fucking... For, well, actually, first, it looked like the most generic fucking WWE professional wrestling match you've ever seen. And then they wrestled, and it was the most... Like, literally, this is the match by which all future matches should be judged as being an average WWE match. Am I wrong? I know. It was like, this was exactly average. Like... <laughs> I was watching this going, is Vince about to go to bed? And, like, they decided we got to get this thing on before he goes to sleep tonight. And then I think he went to bed a little later because I almost fucking fell out of my chair when we went from Miz versus L.A. Knight with John Cena as a ref to a match involving Austin Theory. That I'm was like, a great rib. Oh, my that God. Was... I can't take anymore. So, yeah, this match, it was like, I guess I gave it two and a half stars, which I guess is a little better than average. Because it was a little better than average. But, like, they just did a fucking WWE match. I think it was like, WWE match. And I shouldn't even say that. That's disrespectful to other people on this show. This was... You didn't watch SmackDown, did you? I uh, know. Okay, so The Miz... Well, first it was on Raw. Miz did a... Uh, he was mocking L.A. Knight. Yes. He was making fun of him for being like The Rock and Steve Austin. But it was like The Miz's best promo in, in also a generation. And so then on Friday, they're doing another back and forth, which actually was really good. Their, their verbal back and forth is way better than their wrestling. So they're going back and forth, and Miz keeps making fun of the guy for, like, being straight out of the 90s. So anyway, I watched this match. This was the most generic 1990s World Wrestling Federation match I've ever seen. They did World Wrestling Federation moves. They did... It was, like, such a nothing-happening thing. But, like, they put in time, and they worked hard. And I suppose. in the end, it was like, fine. But I was just watching it going, wow. This is this is like if, if you went in, if you like told AI, told chat GPT or whatever, to like animate a WWF professional wrestling match, it would be LA Knight versus The Miz with John Cena the Robot as referee. That's exactly what this was. I do want to mention one line from the promo segment i can't even call it a promo battle between miz and cena one of miz's insults was that if you had asked me for my advice i'd have told you not to be a mermaid in the barbie movie yes the star of marine 2 is scolding the guy who has a speaking line in a 1.4 billion dollar film okay so uh the match happened and, and then my favorite part my favorite part it's so generic and so at one point Miz tries to get the pin using the ropes. 
And so Chat GPT Cena says to him, Never take the low road. He wasn't full. I I <laughs> never love take the low road is what John I, Cena told him. First of all, they're trying to push the idea that L. A. Knight is the ultimate underdog who never should have made it this far. Like he's a jacked up bodybuilder with limited athletic ability and a big mouth. He's everything you want for the past twenty years. Yeah, but they didn't do anything with him for twenty years. I do realize that that's a mystery. I don't. But just to, to say that he's the I, I don't know. So they're just doing stuff. They're on the floor for like an hour. Cena's not even counting. Eventually, he just gets out and just scolds them to please get in the ring. Uh, they did a bit where uh, Miz was stomping in the corner, and Cena gave him a five count and then put his hands on him to take him out of the corner, and L.A. attacked Miz from behind. They did the same thing later with L.A. Knight. Only when, when, when L.A. went to attack... I did backwards. But when, uh, when L.A. went to attack Miz the second time... Even though he was jumping from behind, Miz beat his ass. Way to make your baby face look like a big geek. Then during this match, it's a long heat segment, and I use the heat term heat very loosely. It's very quiet in there. And Michael Cole says, The Miz is a great job taking the crowd out of this match. And I said, Ha! Ha 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 ha! Because it was funny. <laughs> I don't think he meant it as an insult, but it came off as very insulting and accurate. Uh, they traded innovative DDT variations, by which I mean stupid, and uh, eventually let's see, uh, LA, see, uh, Miz tries to go for a five-knuckle shuffle, LA dodges it, hits his one big elbow smash, gets the blunt force trauma, and wins, and yes, I wrote it was mostly boring. It's just generic. It's just a, re a WWF wrestling match is what this was. And then out comes, oh, then Cena endorsed LA Give him the handshake. Recently. That'll get the... You know, the guy wasn't over before. Yeah. But yeah, we'll yeah. make sure he gets over now by having John Cena well, endorse the guy. Now they're telling the fans... Dork. We know you've been cheering for him, but now we want you to cheer for him. So you know what's funny? Out. Is this LA Knight does the Rock and, and Steve Austin cosplaying gimmick? It's like, do you know what Steve Austin would have done if John Cena would have tried to endorse him after one of his matches? Stunned him. Yes. Do you know what The Rock would have done if John Cena would have tried to endorse him after one of his matches? Verbally buried him eight feet beneath the earth. Or give him the rock bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what L.A. Knight did when he was endorsed by John Cena? Sure he smiled. Did. Yes. I'm like, brother, you should have hit him with your move, dude. Yeah. That would have got you over. That would have got him hugely over, yes. <laughs> and yes, we then go to Austin Theory. Oh, my God. Versus Rey Mysterio Jr. Oh, so I was still baffled by them saying Elliot Knight was the ultimate underdog. I'm like, he's just an older version of Austin Theory. The mystery is why it took so long for him to get here. The mystery is not why he's there now. But anyway, they start talking about how Austin Theory has risen to the top of the card faster than anyone since Randy Orton. Did I blink and miss the show when uh, Austin Theory was top of the card? I, I guess don't remember him the, being the top of the card. I guess he had the money. I mean, he had some main event matches or whatever. Mm -hmm. I remember he opened a WrestleMania. So this is all far more entertaining than the actual match. He's got Ray in this chin lock. And he just told him. I made the speech on the NXT review about Butch and Charlie Dempsey, who were using some mission holds to try to injure each other and finish the opponent, not to ground them and lay there. This was a fine example of grounding the man and lying there. And I'm thinking, well... Theory sucks, and he's just idiot-proofing this. But maybe when Ray makes his comeback, things will get better. But you know what? They did not. And there's highlights that's going around, and Ray's highlights still looked awesome. He had a big tope, a big, like, uh, the springboard run and all that. All that looked great. But in between, he was huffing, and he was puffing, and this was a struggle getting through this match. And we talked about Trish. We should also point out Ray Mysterio is 48. And Father Time is undefeated. This is the first time I think I ever saw Ray and thought, he is starting to look old. So, there's a double down. They do like the, they do like the MGF Cold Double Clothesline or something. They're both down on the mat, mat, and they just stay there. And they lie there. And if that ref had not been counting, I believe they may still be lying on the mat just catching their breath. And eventually, they get up, and Ray just hits a cradle and wins. That was some very rough going. Eh, it was all right, I guess. It was certainly nothing special, but my God, it was nothing happening. It was just a match. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.